right, the purpose of this video, and I have to talk over a generator in the background, is to show you the properties of Nylog. So we have the vacuum pump on. We know we have a vacuum leak from the previous video. We can pull down the 17 microns. Let's see if we can show it to you right there. So that's a, a, a hundred, a 1700 microns right there. That's with the vacuum on. Now watch what happens. Let me put this down without dropping it all the way. Let's turn off the vacuum. There we go, we lose our vacuum. And it just kind of holds right there because we know it's leaking at that O-ring right there. And actually, if I put high pressure nitrogen in it, it actually blows out with high pressure nitrogen. I showed with the refrigerant leak detector it was leaking right there. But look at the vacuum that we're holding. You could barely read that. It wouldn't be fast on the analog gauges, but it's instantaneous with a micron gauge. Let's turn over, uh, open the vacuum again. Boom, right into the micron range. That vacuum leak leaks huge under pressure. Barely leaks under a vacuum, but it does bleed off solid. Now, we have the vacuum drawing again. I have the nylon. Let's see if I have enough nylog in here to do this. So what I'm gonna do, if I could uh, zoom in here, I'm gonna do, let's see if I can do this. Oh, my nylog is running out. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to try, and it's really thick. Do you see how thick that is? I'm gonna try to smooge that around with my finger. See if I can get some. Uh, I gotta get this on here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just putting it up here so I can squeeze it off with my finger, and I'm gonna show you how this. Ah, uh, goddamn! This stuff is messy. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it on the outside. Look at our vacuum go down. That's just with a thin film coated on the outside. I got more all over the place, more on my finger, more spilt everywhere than I can get where I want it to go over the seal. Going down, going down. That is how good Nylog is at stopping vacuum leaks. Nylog is a refrigerant oil. Nylog is not a sealant. Nylog is just a thickened refrigerant oil. No contamination possibilities because it is refrigerant oil. Just like mineral oil, remember Vaseline, Petroleum Valley jelly? Vaseline is that liquid mineral oil that your grandmother would buy in the pharmacy to make you drink it as a laxative or put it on you for some reason on your skin or put it in your eyes for eye energy, you know, that stuff. So petroleum jelly, Vaseline is the exact same as mineral oil. Nylog is compressor oil in a thickened state. And let's see, let's turn this off. Turn off the vacuum. There we go. That's with the vacuum off. Right now the vacuum is st uh, stabling out. It's steadying out. That's with the vacuum off, okay? And you can see it's open here. It's open here to the system. And just by putting Nylog on my finger and smearing it where there's a vacuum leak and a pressure leak, it stops the vacuum. And that is what Nylog does. That's why you put it either silicone grease or Nylog, you put on your O-rings and then assemble the system back together. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Um, 
I have more tests to run on this thing. I got to put some dye in the system. If there isn't my dye in the system, run it with some refrigerant, prove the compressor is still good, prove the while well, we're replacing the expansion valve because it's leaking. But I want to make sure everything is working. I want to make sure the electronics are working, the temperature controls are working. So I need refrigerant in this system so I could prove everything is working before we replace the leaking condenser, the leaking expansion valve, and the leaking O-rings. I don't care about that now. I want to find all the problems. So now I jump to the next step, completely fill it up with refrigerant, run some tests, and then recover it back out, and then give them my full diagnostic. The big picture, as Chris from HVAC Videos would say. See you guys later.